Animal Stories and Mushroom as a high nutritional vegetable grown in parts of Ghana. But the economic potentials of large scale production are yet to be fully tapped. The non availability of ready markets and storage facilities is preventing farmers from going into large scale production. In this special report, Ibrahim Abubakar explores the opportunities in mushroom farming. Mushroom is rich in protein, carbohydrates, minerals and vitamins. It is low in fat and an excellent substitute for fish, meat and other high-end protein foods. Farming the vegetable requires low capital and less space. Mushrooms can be produced indoors without necessarily owning a large farmland. Mushroom farmer Samuel Kwame GC says the essential raw materials for production are mushroom seeds and treated bags of sawdust. In three months, the vegetable is ready for harvest. After getting the sawdust from the sawmill, we come to add some things. We mix it at a certain percentage. We keep it there for not less than 40 days so that it will compost. So after the compost, you bag it like this. You put the spawns, that is the seed for mushroom. So when you put the seed on it, it will take 40 days. From there, you'll be getting mushrooms. With increasing public awareness on the benefits of consuming mushroom, the production is opening up income earning opportunities for young farmers. Some youth at Adebeba, a suburb of Kumasi, have taken up the venture. Olivia Inim Chunibwa has been in the mushroom business for about five years. She is currently training over 50 youth in mushroom production to earn a livelihood. Olivia says the venture is profitable but could be better if the over 60,000 mushroom farmers across the country could access ready market for their harvest. A major challenge is marketing because when we produce the mushroom and we did not buy it, then you can't do anything about it. So you can use mushroom for biscuits, bread, uh, other pastries and also uh, mushroom porridge. But now, it needs a huge amount of capital. The farmers complain the perishable nature of mushrooms sometimes discourages them from producing more. Provision of adequate logistics, such as dehydrators for drying fresh mushrooms, will come as a relief. Secretary to the Mushroom Growers and Exporters Association of Ghana, Emmanuel Dabanka Frimpong, wants government support. Currently we are already in, into that business. We are doing it and we just need the support of the government to be able to expand and at least help the government to also uh, realize his, his policies as far as the uh, one district one factory is concerned. Value addition to mushroom is important in opening up markets. An entrepreneur Stephen Christie Esiedu has established a mushroom processing factory. He is currently producing powdered mushroom bread and mushroom porridge mixed with millet or rice. Rice that are Ghanaian market, they don't like, like the locally grown uh, rice, which is more perfume. Our people don't like it, but I have turned into something else, which is the mushroom rice. Very healthy, very organic, and the kids and adults, everybody enjoys it. He has put up structures at Mabang along the Barakesi Road to house the processing factory, but inadequate machinery restricts him from buying more mushrooms from the farmers. Encouraging the cultivation of mushrooms on a large scale would offer job opportunities for the youth and help in poverty alleviation.